years ago, I watched the TV show when it was a Nova special on how they speculated as to how they were going to move the stones across the desert. And what I'm going to show you is purely speculative too. Uh, they said they don't know what actually how they did it to move the stones across the desert, but they did say that we do know that this is all they had to work with. And remember, they did not have pulleys, they didn't have uh, wheels at all. Can you imagine putting pyramids together 4,000 years ago? They didn't even have the wheel. So right after that television show, what I did was an idea came to mind, and so I did a sketch of the idea, and then it put it away. The problem was when I worked on it, I couldn't figure out how to keep this from rolling backwards. And so recently I watched a TV show on Curiosity Stream, and lo and behold, it was called Pyramid Builders New Clues, and one of those clues turned out to be the missing link. What I'm hoping to do in this video is provide a list missing link to someone else so they can use what I'm showing here as a stepping stone to new knowledge. So not only was I able to build a contraption that's going to show you now how to get this across the desert, I'm going to show you how to get the stones up an incline. To move the block across the desert, you need these items. You're going to need a spindle carriage, two of them, a deck or um, some kind of a, a track that you can go on top of, and you're going to need a rail, three of them, and each of these are 20 feet long. This is 8 inches wide, 10 inches high, and this is a spreader bar. It's going to be pinned here and here, here and here, and that maintains a maximum distance or a fixed distance all the way through, so these stay consistently the same distance apart. To make the system operate now, you would need to put the, the spindle on top, you would put the deck on top of that like so, and then that will roll a little bit. And then we take our 10 ton stone and put that on the top. And then as you can see, it moves very difficult. And then you move it to a point and it's going to run out of track. And from there, you add another track and just continue moving this forward. And then this would be carried away by four men. One here, one here, one here, one here. They would pick it up because it's nothing but bamboo and six inch dowel spindles. And those would be moved forward. This would come apart and there would be eight men, one here, one here, one here, one here, and four more there. And they would pick this up and run it around to the front and then pin it in like so. You'd move your other spindle back in front of this one and you continue on your way. So that's how they can go across the desert to any distance ad infinitum. To make the conveyor system, let's call it, kind of like what they use in modern day systems for moving uh, boxes and things like that. Um, I took the the bamboo skewer 3 16 in diameter and I cut it up into segments to make these elements here. This is an axle, a spindle, a dowel, whatever you want to call it. It's notched on both ends and uh, that uh, creates the axle aspect here. Now that's going to go in here. This is a spacer and a keeper. You see it's notched on both ends so that fits right in between there so I can just keep adding multiples of these elements to create a rolling platform that looks like this part way through so I took this bamboo skewer that you find in a grocery store and I put that top and bottom here to encapsulate all that together so now you can see where I'm heading with this thing and uh, these are operating independently and they spin freely so then what it ultimately will create is this type of mat system that you see here and this is the first one I did and then uh, this is going to ride on a track it's lashed together you see here with hemp rope let's call it these are spindles that are supposed to be six inches in diameter they roll freely and they're the only things that touch the rail down here the system overlaps the edges such that it could never go off track because it's always going to be held in place